I'm Gracie Francesca for Pretty Upfront. Make sure you subscribe to see more of me. So Beauty has come so far with new, exciting and innovative products being released all of the time. And today, I'm gonna to be testing some of these out. So the first product I'm trying out today is the Benefit Pore Professional Matte Rescue. Now, the secret ingredient in this product is diamond powder, which is actually known for soft focus pore blurring. So really, really great for your selfies, for filming videos like I am. I tried this earlier under my makeup. Now, I get oily T-zones, um, I get a bit sweaty, especially filming like I'm doing today, and I'm absolutely like blown away by this. I used to use the NARS primer, but I felt like my makeup didn't really like stick to my face. But this bad boy works amazingly well. It's like uh, a gel formula, and it's really, really cooling and it blends like seamlessly into the skin and also it has like a cucumber, like aqua type smell to it. Um, it's really soft on the skin and it kind of fills in your pores and makes your foundation or your concealer sit a lot better on the skin. So overall, I'm actually really impressed by this. I've got to go out and buy it for a makeup kit. So the next product I'm trying out is the Smashbox Insta Matte. Matte lipsticks are everywhere, from high end to high street. There's a new release left, right and centre. Smashbox have brought out this and it mattifies any lipstick, apparently. I'm gonna put on a, I guess like sheer, shiny lipstick, a nude one, which is really creamy and definitely not matte. Then, I'm going to put this on and see if it actually works. So let's have a go. I feel that like, really weird, like dry. It has actually made my lips a bit matte, but I wouldn't say completely like really matte. I think it's a bit too gimmicky for me. I'd rather just buy some new matte lipsticks, to be honest. The next product on my list of things to try is this really weird lip stain. It's the biggest new trend in Korean beauty, and it's just arrived in the UK. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. I have been told that you, you put it on and then you peel it off, and then the lip stain's underneath the actual product. I'm gonna choose this sexy red color. It feels like fake blood at Halloween and it's really, really tingly and cold and smells like fromage frais yogurt. <laughs> That's outrageous. Are they joking with this? Is this a joke? Am I being like fooled right now. I feel like I've got like weird flaking lips. I kind of get it, kind of don't. Like who, who has time to sit there with that on? And also, wouldn't you just want to wear like a red lip balm? What do we think? Comment below because I'm, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this right now. The last product I'm going to try is this makeup eraser flannel thing. It claims that you just dip this flannel into hot water and it removes all your makeup. Now, not gonna lie, I'm a bit like, really? I've got a bowl of hot water here. I'm just dipping it in. I've got on primer, powder, foundation, concealer. Let's give it, I'm actually, I'm actually nervous. Like what if it makes my skin all red and rashy? Okay, just gonna go with it sort of working. I'm gonna try the eyebrow. You have to um, like really go for it. It's not very like gentle on the skin. So that's the difference. This has got makeup on still and that is it cleansed off. This will be good if you haven't got sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin so things make my skin really irritated. So for me this is like a two out of five. Let me know in the comments below if you tried any of these products out and I'll see you guys very soon.